Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby. This is Armors and Arrows. Today I have a breastfeeding nursing must-haves video for you. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. If you are not new here, thank you for coming back. I am a mom of five, about to be six. I am 40 weeks pregnant when I'm filming this, and so I thought my baby would have been here by now, but Apparently my baby wants to cook, and that's fine. So like I said, I have a nursing must-haves or breastfeeding must-haves video for you. I did one on my postpartum must-haves, and that was more for the downstairs area. Now I'm going to talk about for the upstairs. I got this diaper caddy off of Amazon, and it's pretty cool. So first, you're going to want... I like to have some type of nursing bra for to wear around the house. Um, well, I like you know to go out, but I haven't really found any that are my favorite that I can recommend to go out. So I'm gonna show you what my favorite is to wear around the house. So I got this from Amazon as a three pack. I don't know. I just like it. It's a I don't even know what brand, but you just I apparently can't do this right. Okay. You just pull it back to nurse your baby, and it's got a little, does it have a little thing in here to stick the breast pad? I thought it did. Maybe it didn't. The old ones used to. Oh, wait. It's got a little, yeah, it's got a little hole here that I think you can shove a breast pad in. I've never done that before. So, it's this nursing bra. I will have it linked down below. I don't remember what brand it is, but I have several of them. Okay, next, speaking of nursing bras and breast pads, I don't find that I leak, leak a ton, but it's good to have breast pads on hand. This is a bag of breast pads. I got them from Amazon as well. There's a couple in here for actually from Pink Lemonade Shop. Let's see, can I find those ones? Um, Let's see if I can find them. Okay, I thought they were in here. Maybe I put them in my diaper bag. I don't know. Oh, here they are. So, these are the ones from Pink Lemonade Shop. These two right here. And then this is one of the ones from Amazon. I believe this pack came with 14. These are reusable, washable breast pads. I actually need to get some and they came in this bag. I need to get some disposable ones just to have on hand. So, a nice nursing bra and breast pads. All right. Then, after you have a baby and when you're nursing, the more babies you have, the afterbirth cramps just, they're intense. Like, they're so intense and they hurt so bad. This is Contract Easy by, gosh, I don't even remember. I'm gonna have it linked down below. I get this from inhishands.com. Um, hopefully they have it in stock when you see this video. They didn't have it in stock a few days ago. I bought my stuff early and this is left over from last time. It works real good. This is an entire new bottle because I wanted to make sure that I have enough of it. So this hasn't even been opened. So there's the Contract Easy. Um, you, I use it when I'm nursing and just when I have the afterbirth cramps that come with having multiple babies because that's the loving, that's the, it, it, it just happens. And it's not fun, it's not pleasant and I like to be prepared. Something else to help with the afterbirth cramps is some ibuprofen or Tylenol, whatever your care provider says. Mine says ibuprofen, and so that's what I have here. Um, I'm, I am having a home birth, and yes, I do have a midwife. Okay, so I'm trying to go in order of things that kind of make sense. This is a haka, so you take this, I need to wash it because it's been sitting kind of and just collecting dust. But you take this and you flip it back like that. I'm going to wash this before I use it. 
and then you pinch it, you put it on your breast, and I believe you flip this up first and then let go. And so you nurse your baby on one side and you put this on the other and it collects milk. And so, I don't know, somehow I ended up with two. So this is another one, this one has a cover. I might just put, I think I'm gonna put one in the diaper bag. So to go along with the hot cow, because you need somewhere to put your milk afterwards, are breast milk storage bags. You can find lots of different ones. I will have some linked down below. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Five in here now. I have some in a drawer. Um, maybe I'll put them in here before baby comes. I don't know. I hope the baby comes tonight. But... Okay, so then for your nipples, because you're going to feel, your nipples might feel a little dry or chap. So let's see if I can tell the difference between these. I have two different types of cream. I have a mother love cream and I have a earth mama cream. So this one is I believe this one is the nipple butter. So your nipples might feel a little sore and you want something to put on. This is the nipple butter, I believe. It's either by Earth Mama or Mother Love. I can't remember. Everything will be linked down below. They are affiliate links. All the Amazon ones are affiliate links. And this is either Earth Mama or Mother Love nipple cream. And I've used these with my last several babies, these um, specific creams. I like them a lot better than lanolin. Okay, something that I forgot to mention in my must-haves video for down there is stool softeners. You might want those. Think about magnesium or just stool softeners from the store, however you want to do it. And then... Here's a uh, donut, I guess, thing. So you blow this up, and this is supposed to help cushion under your bum after you have a baby to kind of keep pressure off of your bum, off your butt area. I don't know. We'll see how it works. Last time I used a boppy, but I don't know what happened to that boppy. Okay, and then I don't know if I'm gonna if this baby's gonna take a passy. But I do have a passy in here, just in case the baby does take one. I try, try, try not to do a passy for the first couple weeks or so at least. Those are man passies. And I have these clips. This is a clip. Um, yeah, I got it from Amazon. And then I have a thermometer because with the home birth, you take your child's temperature you do all that stuff that they would do in the hospital. Look, this talks. Please measure. I'm going to turn it off. But it reads you the temperature. And I did have my blood pressure cuff in here, which also talks. But I took that downstairs because we had my appointment a few days ago. And I needed it for my appointment. So I need to put my blood pressure cuff back in here. So I can do my own vitals. I'm also going to have a stethoscope in here. So sometimes it's just nice to have a nursing cover. And I like this type of cover because, well, look, it comes with a matching hat. Um, the baby's head might have to grow into this hat. I have another one of these hat nursing cover matching sets, and it comes in this bag too. But I, I like the material of the other one better. I don't know, I just do. But this is a nursing cover, and it actually works as a car seat cover, too. I'll show you. I'm going to put this on. Doo -doo -doo. So it goes on like a shirt, and then I just pop baby under and feed the baby. Um, I don't always use a nursing cover because, I don't know, I just don't. But I like to have it in case I do use it. And... Sometimes it works really well if I have the baby in the carrier and I really don't want people looking at the baby I can like Put this on and so the baby's covered. Here's the bag that it comes in 
this was like $10 off of Amazon. And yeah, so a nursing cover. These are the kind that I like. I know you can get different kinds for like $30 or $40, but honestly, this $10 one, like I said, I have another one. I think it's actually in the car seat. I don't, I need to find it because that's going to bug me. But I really like this kind. So, yeah, all of that stuff. Now, let's talk about stuff that I don't have to show you specifically sitting right here because I didn't feel like grabbing it. So, one thing is the, you're going to want to stay hydrated. So, having some body armor might be nice. I heard that this is really refreshing. It's alright. I mean, I like it be a lot better than Gatorade. You're going to want a water bottle of some kind. And I have a 32 ounce water bottle. And I have a 64 ounce water bottle. So, you want to drink a lot. Try and drink a couple of these a day. Or at least, you know, however many you can because you really need to stay hydrated. And along with hydration, you need to be eating really well. Let people serve you for the first couple of weeks. You take care of you and baby. And like I have different snacks over, um, at our last house we purchased a mini fridge because, well that's a whole nother story, but we purchased a mini fridge for our bedroom and we decided to keep it in our bedroom when we moved to this house and it's going to work out good because when I'm up here resting and stuff with the baby I can pull something out of the mini fridge instead of walking all the way downstairs because my body's going to need to be resting so I have snacks over at my mini fridge I have like jerky, chocolate covered almonds, Chex Mix um, string cheese I can't remember what else my husband's going to pick up more when we go to the store next time. But just make sure that you are eating really well, nourishing yourself and nourishing your baby. You know, if if you're struggling with breastfeeding, with nursing your baby, reach out to a lactation consultant. Reach out and have your baby evaluated for a tongue or lip tie. My last two babies actually had tongue ties, so I'm fully prepared for this baby to have a tongue tie. So reach out and have your baby evaluated. Make sure that it's someone who really knows what tongue ties are, because a lot of instances, people, um, you know, doctors or this, these different care providers will say, oh no, your baby doesn't have a tongue or lip tie, and really, they don't know what they're looking for. And so you go on trying to feed your baby and it just hurts and your baby's not latching correctly and not getting enough food and all this stuff and it could be just something that needs to be revised and then maybe some oral, I can't remember what it's called, but, um, and some chiropractic care to go with it as well. So if it's, if you feel like you're struggling with nursing your baby, please reach out and please, please get help. It, it shouldn't be a huge struggle. And really try and find somebody who knows what they are talking about when it comes to tongue and lip ties. Oh yeah, one more thing I wanted to show you. So, I like to be comfortable after having babies and I, I've never had an actual pair of nursing pajamas but anyways my husband got me these for my birthday I've not used them yet but it's just a shirt and you just unbutton the top here and you pull it to the side kinda like the bra and you can feed your baby so here's a shirt and these are the pants that go with it. But, so, you might want to treat yourself to some nice, cozy pajamas afterwards, even if you only wear them for like a day. It's 
it's nice to treat yourself to some pajamas. I think these are pink. I don't even remember what color they are. If you have been nursing or are just starting out, congratulations and good luck. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. I am not a lactation consultant, so all of these opinions and all the stuff that I've showed, shown you is my own opinion. Let me know if you have questions. I can try and help in the comments down below. And like I said, all opinions are my own, so take it for what, for what it's worth. But I have breastfed all my babies, so I feel like I have some experience there. Anyways, if you like what you've seen, please give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.